Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom image. So the concept is that you already have a VM instance or a VM disk where you have installed all the OS and all the software packages that you want. It's pre-installed so that you create a custom image so that you saving time while running the startup script. For example, when you run a startup script, the boot up time obviously increases because when on the bootstrapping, all the packages are installed. So this is the problem which you faced. So the solution is that you already create, created a VM image with all the packages. So you just create a custom image from that and then use that to create other instances so you don't have to waste the boot, boot up time. And also this can be used while having like uh, security regulations with the company for example you have to have some set of rules to be followed so this helps having one computer where you can just create a custom image from that and then you start to create lots of instances so i will show you how so here you come to the left and you see storage and all you have to do is click disks you will be seeing the disk that is associated with uh, instance that is this one but another thing is it shouldn't be running but if yours is running there will be a process to do that but it's not recommended so we will stop this and then go to disks so this is the disk that is associated with the instance one so this should take some couple of seconds to stop once this is stopped you will obviously click this and then as you can see it shows create image so we will click this if you see such as instance to create image you need to stop as you said you need to stop otherwise you can click this as well keep the instance running this is not recommended however so i would highly suggest that you don't do this so that it's you know they recommended so we don't want to do that so we just come back and again it just takes a couple of minutes to stop once it will be stopped so it will be easy instant stop this is stop now you come here low click create image this is, uh, i think it still thinks it's running so we just give a refresh obviously it's not running so we just check Now running so we come back to disks option create image now running so you can just do the image one which is custom image start with it custom image one then from instance so is all just make this question and then what we'll do we we'll just keep everything as it is if you want it to be multi-regional you can click this if you want it to be regional as you want for now we'll go with multi-regional we will do with whatever we have here so we'll create this As you can see it takes some time obviously so once this is created these are all the public images that are available so once this is created it'll be easy you can just click just click this and then create image that's how it normally works for everything as you can see create instance so like exactly like the custom template that is the instant template that you use it's the same same everything is the same but in what do you do in custom templates i mean instance template you run a startup script here you already install all the software OS in the image so that you save booting time so you can just go here click create this works as well another way which i will show you using instance template obviously 
is go here and then create a template one width I don't know why it's not coming no. let's keep it as I don't know what's wrong my machine so everything is same and here boot disk what do you do you see what I come here change then you click custom images and then you come here and then you select the image that you know you created which is custom image one created today a couple of minutes ago so you click this and then you select custom image then come down and then as this code will be available don't worry this was used for the startup script which is my uh, video for the instance template so you come here, you allow this, you go to management. This is not needed, you can custom image template so you selected this okay everything is custom image and then here start a script you paste that but so you don't have to install obviously because it's already installed in the disk that's why we're using the custom image so everything is going to stick down however you do this and then you need to this is as well is not needed because it's already done and then what you can do is you have to start the service so you do service Apache 2 start now what you do that's all you have to do create once this is created from this template you can do the same action create instance this is another way of how to use the custom template using the custom image if you don't want to use this you can always go to the custom image and then images you know click the three this one and then create vm that works as well now i'll show you just create vm and it will show you the pages obviously custom template template one just click there is no error create once this is done obviously the external IP where you can click and see the page which is running in Apache web server will be viewed which is very easy if it's too long I'll just cut the video and then come back once this is done so it's done now give it a couple of you know let's see let me click this as you can see it's perfect from the custom image one template so this is how we use custom image in gcp